Now let's start creating some details. So I'm gonna go to the section A here on the view map so I make sure I have the right properties. And let's create a detail of this parapet. So to do that, we're gonna go to the detail tool here on the toolbar. I'm just gonna click on it, drag one rectangle for my detail, and then choose where I want the detail marker head. Now let's see the settings for this marker head. I'm gonna select it and go Control T or Command T. And the first thing here is that we can choose the ID. I'm gonna keep it D01, but then I'm gonna change the name to Parapet Wall Detail. I think this circle is too big, so I'm gonna reduce it to 10. And moving now to Marker, Symbol and Text, we can change how we want the cloud, if you want it with those rounded edges. And you can also choose the line type for the cloud. So you could have it a bubble or a hidden line. You can also change the marker head for other geometries. I'm gonna keep it in the circle. And you have some properties for the fill of the marker head. And here at the bottom, we can choose the text that goes inside the marker head. And if you want to, you can have a second line with more custom text, but I'm gonna keep it off. Let's press OK, and this is looking better. You can also click on those magenta points and start moving them, like repositioning the head, the angle of the line, whatever you prefer. Now, if we look here in our project map, down to details, you should be able to find the D01 parapet wall. So I'm gonna double click on this. And here we have a 2D drawing of that callout with some grouped parts of those elements. So I'm gonna select everything here, and then I'm gonna use the shortcut Option Command G or Control Shift G if you're in a Windows, so I can start deleting some of those lines. So by deleting elements in these 2D details, we're not deleting things on the model. I know this line belongs to the structural grid, which is a locked layer. So I'm gonna go quickly here and unlock the structural grid, just so I can delete this. And as this is a 2D drawing, you can start editing it, adding new lines, adding new fills, make it work for you. So I will start by changing the scale to one to 10, and I'm gonna do some dimensioning. I'm gonna place it here. I think the witness line is too far, so I'm gonna do it like at 100, that looks better. And you can also place some of the labels. So I'm gonna do a label here for stone, another for the waterproof membrane. I'm gonna do this one in two lines. Well, you got the idea. So you can keep on adding more and more details here. Another way to do really nice details is by using the 3D document. So let's go back to the plan. I'm gonna do a little marquee here on this corner of the building. Press F4 in the Mac or F5 in the Windows and choose one corner here. Let's make sure we have our beams on, so I'm gonna put a different layer combination, good. And on this detail, I'm actually gonna change from generic perspective to generic axonometry. Now I'm gonna reposition here. Make sure you have exactly the spot that you want on the detail, including hiding some of the other stuff. Now you just go to the 3D document, right click and hit new 3D document from the 3D. You can also right click here on uh, empty space, same button, new 3D document from the 3D. And then our cat is gonna ask you what's the name of this new detail, so I'm gonna call it parapet wall detail, hit OK. And Archicad has this 3D detail for us. Different from the 2D detail, if you delete something here, you are actually deleting in the model, so bear that in mind. But here on the 3D document, you can right click and go to 3D document settings and you can change the name of the detail, but you can also change the way we're displaying the model. Very similar to sections and elevations. So for example, on the uncut elements here, I'm gonna change it from on surface with colors to uniform pink color and let's choose a transparent. 
I don't need transparency. As I'm going to turn off transparency here. And you can also put some shadows here if you think it's going to help you. So I'm going to press OK. And we have this 3D detail that looks more like a detail now. Here you can also put dimensions. So I'm going to do some quick dimensions. Click here and choose the position. I can see I'm not in the right scale. I'm 1 to 50, so I'm going to change it to 1 to 10. That is better. And you can also add the labels. And those two details, we can save them as a view. But before doing that, I'm going to organize this folder a little bit because it's going to start getting real busy. So I'm going to create a folder for sections and drag all the sections there. Another folder for elevations. Drag all the elevations there. And then finally, one folder for our details. So I will make sure that I have the right filters here and drag the, my 3D detail there. Let's go to the 2D detail. All the filters that I want, yes, I'm going to drag my 2D detail there as well. And it is that quick to do some gorgeous 3D details that we can place on the sheets and impress our clients.